Hey, in this video, I want to give you a quick walkthrough of the Vault Helm chart for running Vault on Kubernetes in just a few minutes. Today, I'm going to demonstrate running Vault in three distinct modes, a dev mode, a standalone mode, and finally, a highly available or HA mode. So let's jump over to the command line and have a look. In the top window here, you can see I have a five node Kubernetes cluster. And then in the bottom window, I'm just going to watch for any pods that are running in this cluster. I've already downloaded the Vault Helm chart repo, but you can do that too by following the instructions in the repo. For the first demo here, I wanted to run Vault in a dev mode. You can just run Helm install, and then I'm going to set this argument here so that dev mode is enabled. And then let's run it. Great, so you can see our Vault dev pod was launched down here, but if you also scroll up in the top window, you can see there's lots of output about what happened. You can also verify the status of the Vault by running the Vault status command against this pod. Great, so you can see that the vault was initialized and it's unsealed. Dev mode is really great for kicking the tires on vault. Just a quick reminder that in dev mode, everything is stored in memory and nothing is written to disk. So don't use this for production or anything. For the second demo, I wanted to run vault in a standalone mode. By the way, this is also the default mode for this chart. To do that, we just run helm install without any arguments. I'm setting the name here, but you don't have to do that. As expected, you can see the pod was just launched. But things are a little different versus last time when we were running in dev mode. You can see the pod state is running, but it's not actually ready to accept traffic. Let's quickly check the status by running vault status. So you can see that the vault has not been initialized yet, and it's still in a sealed state. This is because this is a brand new instance. So let's run the initialize command and get this configured. By the way, behind the scenes here, we're using a Kubernetes persistent volume to store your data. So your data will persist across restarts. Now we just need to unseal it by using this unseal key here. Great, so the pod is now in a ready state and you can see up here it's been initialized and unsealed. So we're ready to start directing traffic to this instance. However, there's still a problem here. This isn't a highly available service since it's backed by just a single pod. And if there are any interruptions, you'll experience downtime. Say for example that the pod was killed or the machine hosting this container was rebooted. So for the third and final demo, I wanted to walk through what a highly available vault service might look like. When you're running in a highly available mode, you'll need a supported backend storage solution. For this demo, I'm gonna use the console Helm chart to configure a highly available console cluster for us where we can store our encrypted vault data. Now let's go back to the vault Helm chart. From here, we just run the same command that we've been using, but this time specify that we want to enable the highly available mode. Behind the scenes here, data will be stored in console. And I've also modified the Helm Charts configuration file to auto unseal against a cloud provider's key management solution. What this means is that when a pod instance restarts for whatever reason, it will automatically boot without human intervention. So if we check the vault status, you can see that the vault hasn't been initialized, which is to be expected since this is a brand new install. So let's initialize it. Great, then down here, you can see that the pods start becoming ready as they auto unseal because they're authenticating against the cloud provider's key management solution. You can read about all these configuration settings in the docs. And if we check the status again, you can see the vault has been initialized, auto unsealed, and we're running in a highly available mode. But let's make sure this actually works by testing it out. I'm gonna delete a vault pod instance here and see what happens. You can see down here that the pod instance is terminating and it should restart shortly. Great, so it came back online and it auto unsealed. What's so cool about this is that it just takes a few minutes to get a highly available cluster configured. All right, so that's it for the demos. Hopefully you found this video useful, and if you want to learn more, please check out the blog post or the Helm chart documentation.